Do you know how to find the biggest file in your file system or maybe biggest files in your file system? And I'm not saying using find, it is a different way. If not, if you're curious, this video is for you. This is part of the series how to and I hope you enjoy. So let's jump to the video. Here we are. So let's take a look on this machine. We can see that my root file system is 99%. Like I have seven gigs and I'm basically using seven gigs. And then I would like to understand what's going on. I don't know yet which file is consuming all this space or if they are multiple files, but let me show one thing to you that will be really nice. In general, we don't do this on the root file system. We don't install one machine just with the root file system. We create different partitions. But I know that my problem is underneath var. I did my research already. So let's take a look on var. And then, okay, I'm lost. What is the best way to track this down? Let me clean up the screen. U-KS star. At this moment, we can see in kilobytes. And hey, Wally, can you use gig or megabyte? Yes, but stick with me. Let's keep on kilobytes. I'm gonna show you a trick that will be very neat. We can see that my ADM folder is zero byte. This is kilo and megabyte. Okay, 290 megabytes. Let's take a look on this. Kilobyte, megabyte, and gigabyte. So 62 gigs underneath my lib. This is nice. Kilobyte, megabyte, two gigs, basically. Let's suppose that I have like tons of folders and this is insane. So how can I get my top 10 folders that I consume in more storage? We can keep du-ks star pipe sort dash nr. Let me clean up the screen and press enter. Now we can see that we are sorting. And if you are asking, hey, why the n and r? Let me remove this and show you the difference. If you see, the biggest one or the biggest folder at this moment is at the bottom. I would like to keep this on my top. So I like to reverse the order and also why is the n anytime my friend man and the command man is your friend so we are looking for dash n numeric sort and we are looking for dash r reverse definitely i can use the numeric plus the reverse and then now i have my top hey wally we are seeing all of them how can i filter the top 10 pipe head dash and 10 basically what i'm doing is just presenting the 10 first occurrence that is matching with my query let's just recap this real quick u dash ks star all the folders and then we are getting this output passing through sort uh numerical order and reverse on the top will be the ones that we are looking for i'm filtering using head like the top 10 basically that's it I know that this is kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte. Two gigs, it is not too much, but this one is. Like we have kilobyte, megabyte, and 62 gigs. What should I do now? Let's access lib and do the same process. I kept both because now we can see, like we can drill down this path and we can understand. Before my lib was with 62 gigs. And now I can see that this is kilobyte, megabyte, and gig. 58 gigs of 62 is from my Pope file system. And then the next one is Postgres. Kilobyte, megabyte, gig. 3.6 gigs. I will not spend my time here because something is happening on Pope. So what should I do now? Let's access Pope. And then again, check this out. From 58 gigs. I can see that 57 gigs, is that right? Yes, look at that, 57 gigs. And then tell me, is this useful for you? If you're not yet subscribing this channel, think about it. This will help me a lot and I believe this content is help you a lot. After that, we can see backup. So kilobyte, megabyte and gig. So one gig of backup. Again, I know that my media is the guy that is filling up my disk. What should I do, Wally? media okay should i be seeing like the folders i don't care i just wanted to know the top 10 of my directories or files that are consuming my storage and then again in this case this is interesting because if you see i have just one folder 
and because of that we have just one entry let's access this folder you got the point so let me clean up this screen and let's do again and check this out so before we saw 57 gigs and then from 57 gigs i can tell you for sure there is one folder what what with kilobyte megabyte oops kilobyte megabyte and gigs like 52 gigs under this what from 57 all the rest is like kilobyte and megabyte like 375 megabytes 108 megabytes 86 megabytes 85 megabytes 83 megabytes again those here they're not the culprit of this process or the filling disk but this one is weird let's access what and run again and there you go check this out now we can see that there is one file kilo mega 41 gig and another one with 10 gigs another one dot log you got me dot log and those are the files that are filling my disk i believe the main point here is you can always use this command that will help you to drill down all the usage that you do have in your file system and will help you to figure this out like pretty quick real real fast okay well once we got it what now in my case i know it is simple to fix because this file is not supposed to be here i can remove the folder and then there we go now my storage is 7 gigs i'm using 20 gigs and i have 51 gigs available at this moment and that's it i hope you enjoy as i said before this is part of the series how to pretty quick pretty fast just providing some nice content to you guys if you are not yet subscribing this channel please do so if you believe this kind of content is help you somehow don't forget to subscribe this will help me to keep creating content and sharing some amazing stuff with you also don't forget to join in our discord channel feel free to join and share your question we'll be glad to have you there see you in the next video bye